Welcome to part 13 of our B44.2 RC car buggy build and we're working on the rear arms and we're just breaking them off from the spruces and as you're breaking them off from the spruces just be careful that you don't break the rear arm itself so you just do enough to weaken the joint and pull it off from the rear arms. An interesting note is that every manufacturer be it Kyosho, Losi or even just Team Associate as I'm working here always has rear arms and front arms on spruces. So let's go ahead and sand this down. After you've broken the rear arm off the spruce there is a kind of a rougher area and because we're expecting the arms to flex be it the front arms or the rear arms it's always a good practice just to sand a little bit so I'm just sanding off any of the uh, flash that's still on there. And in this case I am using indeed using a finer grain green sandpaper. You could actually start off with a coarser grain sandpaper and once again as you're sanding just be careful that you're not sanding too hard or or uh, too destructively that you're you would actually ruin the uh, rear arms. Alright so now I got the rear arms sanded down I'm gonna go ahead and thread in the uh, hinge pin and what's interesting to note is that um, even though you know you've sanded uh, hinge pins sometimes could be notoriously difficult to to get on and this is because of two reasons um, it, it might be that there's still some flashing still on the rear arms uh, there might be flashing on that uh, brace as well um, another note could be that uh, it's trying to go toe in so it's trying to everything's just trying to angle in uh, a little bit more so usually when you're when you're having trouble with this it's it's just because you can't go straight it has to go in and, and as a slight diagonal in and what I'm doing is I like to just dry fit it so I'll just drop in the pin push it into the hole make sure that it fits that it's snug enough to fit um, and, and it's snug enough that it doesn't uh, uh, have any kind of gap or slop in it so uh, slop would just be like extra spacing in there and everything kind of just flops around or or the the gearing doesn't seem right uh, so anywho just go ahead and put it in and then thread in the the uh, retaining screws thanks for watching